how I spiel again because if you are watching this like on a replay, I don't want you to be confused. So, um, welcome. My name is Brittany Budd. I am the facilitator and creator of this amazing community. I'm so excited that you're here. Um, if you've never heard of me, I'm going to welcome you. I'm a mindset and business coach and I help online CEOs to build and scale their online businesses to six figures and beyond using social media marketing strategies. Yay. Okay. So it's June. We're talking about making more money because who doesn't want to make more money? Everybody. Okay. Why is my, what happened? I'm feeling a little squee hogged. That's one of my, my father-in-law's terms, squee hogged when you're like off kilter. Hi, Corey. Okay. So this is training number three. Like I said, June, I want you guys to make so much freaking money. You've never made so much money in all of your lives. And so I'm giving you a shit ton of trainings in order to help you make that happen. So Monday, I did a live training about, oh crap, I forget. Does anybody remember what my training was about on Monday? Good grief. Do you know what? This week has just been like really weird, right? What did I talk about? Clarity. Monday, I talked about clarity. Um, yesterday, I, we did blackout here. Um, I still let you guys promote because I want you guys to promote yourselves and each other and encourage each other and buy from each other. So we kept up with Promote Your Business Tuesday. Um, but other than that, it was pretty radio silent in here. And now I'm going to talk about Burn the Boats. Um, how to be more consistent and committed in your business. Um, consistency and commitment is like the number one thing that is keeping you from making money in your business. If you're not consistently doing the work, I mean, we can all attest to this. And this is the same with everything you do in life, whether you're in school to like get your master's or you're like, upgrading a math class or you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to build muscle or you're trying to practice a new instrument or you're learning a new dance routine. It doesn't matter if you're not consistent in it, you're going to stink at it. <laughs> and I mean that in the most loving way possible. Um, but if you don't practice what you're doing and my son just learned how to ride a two wheeler. And so this is like, very fitting today. Yesterday he learned how to ride a two-wheeler. And so let me let me share this story for a, a little minute with you guys and then I'll kind of dig back in. Oh wait. Okay, so I've got my 12 <laughs> I've got my 12 week um signature program. It was called Firecracker Ignite. That is in the units tab, you guys. I used to sell it for a thousand dollars. Um and now I'm giving it to you for free because I'm just not selling it anymore. And I haven't for months, not because it's not good because it's fucking amazing, but because I'm focusing on my one-on-one -on -one clients and serving them to the best of my ability and helping them scale their businesses. And so managing a program is just like not on my radar right now. So I thought, what the hell, why don't I just give this to you guys for free and help you explode your business. This 12 weeks is a lot about mindset when it comes to your business. Overcoming fears, identifying fears, overcoming why you're stuck, what's going on in your thought process that's stopping you from moving forward in your business. Um, and there's also some really fun like manifestation and law of attraction stuff in there that I have created. So go, check it out, absorb it. Tell me how much you like it. Um, breakaways takeaways, breakthroughs, aha moments. I love to hear them. Um, also, I'm going to be giving you guys my branding academy, the Brittany Bud Branding Academy. Um, that was part of it. Um, I, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys with, with information because then you're just going to be like, shit, like I don't want to do any of this. <laughs> this is too much. So I will be like sending that out next week. And also for the whole month of June, Monday to Friday, I'm going to be coming live with trainings. Um, each week is going to have a different theme. And so this week's theme is what's stopping you from making more money? Does anybody know what's stopping them from making more money? Who else out there wants to make more money? Yes. So we're talking about burn the boats. We're talking about consistency. We're talking about commitment. So my son, he's six. Okay. 
he has been wanting to get a new bike. We bought him a bike when he turned four. Um, and you know, you want to get some time out of your bikes, right? Because bikes are not cheap and kids grow like bad weeds. And you know, if they can make it more than one summer, you're set, right? And so he's been honest about this new bike. I want a new bike. He had his birthday, um, like a week and a half ago. I said, dude, you can totally get a new bike. Like, that's not the question. But it would be so great if you knew how to ride a two-wheeler because your new bike is going to be a lot bigger than your old bike. And if you could learn on your old bike, then it'll be easier to just hop on your new bike and start driving it, right? So he's been very like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, just get me a new bike. I just want my training wheels. What's the big deal? Why can't I have a new bike? Um, and so we've, you know, we've been kind of in a back and forth, not, not in an argument, um, but just like, we'd really like you to learn. Like, it's fun to learn. Other kids your age are starting to learn. Um, like some kids around the neighborhood are cruising by and they've got their training wheels off. So like, wouldn't it be so fun? And so we took his training wheels off and like, I'm like a weak little woman. Like, I'm like like help me damsel in distress type of chick like <laughs> I'm I'm five feet I'm like 125 pounds like I'm <laughs> I can't hold him up while he's riding his bike is what I'm trying to say so my husband's been like holding him up and he's like not loving life and so my husband came up with this great idea we never had these when we were kids but balance bikes uh, I don't know if you guys are like familiar with these balance bikes these kids get these bikes they have no pedals and they just like kind of like waddle along and then glide. So my husband said, okay, I'm gonna take off his pedals and he can just learn to balance himself and then we'll put the pedals back on and then he'll ride. So meanwhile, in all of this, I bought a bike. <laughs> I haven't ridden a bike in like, oh, good grief, a good 20 years since I've ridden a bike. So <clears throat> he's on this balance bike, he's practicing and then like taking some time off and practicing and taking some time off. And so I'm like, okay, Oliver, like, mama's got to <laughs> try to remember how to ride a bicycle here. Like, you can learn how to ride your bike while I remember how to ride my bike. And so him and I, we practiced, and he, you know, explained it to him, and he watched me. And, you know, I'm like, you got to have, like, one foot up, like, the pedal up, so that when you push it, it goes down instead of backwards. You want to go forwards. You kind of, like, push off and bring your foot up. And so he's like, Mom, I really like how you are doing this. <laughs> I crashed into the bushes at one point, but anyway, don't judge me. I'm just, I can't help it. <laughs> it's been a long time. And so I put the pedals back on his bike and this kid hopped on his bike, put his foot up on the one pedal, kicked off, boom. He takes off up the driveway, turns around and comes back to me. And we were both like, oh my goodness. Like, I can't believe you just did that. And this is because he was consistent in practicing and committed to learning. And now he's like driving on the grass. He's standing up. This was yesterday, you guys. No, it was two days ago. It was two days ago. Yesterday, he fell off and scraped his elbow. He's fine. Two days ago. And now he's like cruising, standing up on the, like going on the yard in the grass. Like he thinks he's like a pro skater now. This pro skater. A pro biker now because he practiced and he was committed and he was consistent in practicing and now he's doing awesome and we're so excited to buy him a new bike and he's keeps saying mom I'm super proud of myself and I'm like freaking hell yeah man like I don't say hell yeah to him he's only six but I'm like fucking right dude like yes I'm so proud of you too but he acknowledges in his little six-year-old wisdom I'm proud of myself I just accomplished something that was hard for me and I did it and so, like I say, you guys, making money in your business cannot happen if you're not consistent. And I see this so often in business owners and entrepreneurs, particularly in the online space, where like the month end hustle is like a serious thing for them. I'm going to do nothing for like the first two weeks of the month. Then like the third week of the month, I'm going to start to shit my pants because nothing's coming together. And then the last week of the month, I'm going to hustle my ass off to try to hit, pardon me, the goals I had. I'm doing a juice cleanse, so I might <laughs> burp a couple of times. I apologize. Um, this, this is terrible. Um, nope. Okay. They hustle 
their asses off for that final week of the month to try to hit their goals. And then by the time the first of the next month hits, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so exhausted. I just busted my ass for a whole week, just like reaching out to everyone, talking to all my customers, just all over the place. And so that I could maybe or maybe not hit my goal. And that's like the shittiest way to run a business um, because it's not sustainable. No one can survive that way. It's exhausting. No wonder they take two weeks off after that. They did like a whole month's worth of work in a week. But wouldn't it be so great if you just did a little bit of work every day, which brings me back to, well, yesterday's topic, but you know, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, if you were taking the right action steps every day and doing it for 15 minutes at a time, your business would explode and you wouldn't have to spend a week busting your butthole trying to hit rank or whatever you're trying to do. So this whole concept of being committed and being consistent is really what's holding you back from doing what you're wanting to do. Um, you'll also see people like, notification I got a client in a half an hour um like uh coaches like myself they'll like fill their calendar and then you'll see them just kind of like drop off their group starts getting real quiet for a little while and then all of a sudden their clients are kind of like through their coaching offer and now all of a sudden whoop, here they are they're back they're trying to sell again and it's this like ebb and flow and ebb and flow and this is not sustainable you guys so if you've never heard of the concept of burn the boats, this is like a war thing. I mean, I cannot get into all of it because I just don't remember. And I didn't really think to research the name of the like general that made these, the war burn the boats. But anyway, because I didn't think it was going to matter. Corey says, I'm the only one who can stop me from making money. That is damn true. Okay, so there was a war. <laughs> And so these guys were coming up on the shore. <clears throat> I don't know who the war was between. Like I say, I didn't research. I didn't think that that was like the most important part of the story. The most important part of the story is that the guys were on the boats and the boats were coming up on the shore and they were going to have a battle. And the general was like, all right, boys, get off your boats and burn them. And that makes you shit your pants, right? Like, what do you, why are we burning the boats? <laughs> reason that he made them burn the boats was because this is do or die there's no running home you're here and you're gonna show up and you're gonna do your work and you're gonna do what you're supposed to do and if there's no turning back and you know this comes to <clears throat> investing too which was not really the point of this but I will mention it in a minute if you have no other option but to move forward and you make it so that Quitting is not an option. I can't turn around and go home. I can't pick up my ball if I'm not having fun and go home and cry. I have no other options than to keep pushing forward. That's commitment. That's serious commitment to what you're trying to accomplish. And every time you give yourself an out, oh, you know what? I don't like this. I'm just going to get back in my boat and row back home. No, this is all or nothing. I'm here to show the fuck up and get my shit done and make my goals, like my dreams, reality. And so this general said, burn the boats. You're not going home. You're not running home because you're scared. And so these guys, they were outnumbered. It was a whole thing, but they won because they knew if I want to survive, I have to kick ass right now. I can't run home. So it's literally do fight my ass off and survive or actually die in this war, in this battle that I have to participate in. And we need to take this same gusto with our businesses. It's so easy to go, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. This isn't fun. Or I'm not getting the results I want and I'm not showing up every day. So it's no wonder I'm not getting the results I want. But if you take this idea that there's no going back. You know, I talked to a woman yesterday. She's like, I quit my job for this. She burned those damn boats. There's no going back for her. She quit her job to pursue her goals and go after her dream and make her business work. 
That is real commitment. So let me ask you guys, how committed are you to making your dreams become a reality? How ready are you to be consistent every day, even when you don't want to? You know, what's the, it's not realistic to wake up and be 100% committed. No one wakes up and is 100% committed to anything, right? You just wake up and you're like, oh, it's another day. I can already hear my kids fighting. Like, I got to get dressed. I got to do this. I got to do that. Yes, Corey, you have to be 100% committed. And it's not that this has to be like ingrained in you. It's like, when you wake up, you know that you have shit to do for your business. You know you have shit to do to make your dreams become a reality. So you need to make a shift every day. Okay, here's my shift. Like, click. I'm 100% committed to making this happen. I'm 100% ready to make this happen. I'm burning the boats. There's no turning back. I'm ready. And like I said, this has to, a lot to do with investing as well. When people invest in something that's high ticket, that's why people invest in like, they get all the free content. They get the like $50 content. Maybe they do like $100 and they feel really okay with that because it gives them an okay feeling if they don't complete it. It was free. Whatever. It's not a big deal that I didn't finish. It was only 50 bucks. It was only $100, okay? It's not a big deal that I didn't complete it. And so you give yourself this out by playing small when it comes to investing because you don't take yourself seriously enough to know that you're committed enough to do what needs to be done. So, you know, I, I encounter this with my clients before they hire me. You know, hiring me is a high ticket item. But when they hire me, when they're scared to hire me because it's a lot of money, it forces them to show up like never before. Handing money over to me and signing an agreement to work with me for six months is burning the boats for them. This is do or die. I'm in this for six months with you. I'm going to show up the way I've never shown up before. I'm going to do things I've never done before. I'm going to be the best student. I'm going to do everything you tell me to do. Because if I don't, I will die. <laughs> And I can use another example of this, and this is a little bit like sexist. This was like back when I was a child. I was six, okay? So my dad lost his job. He worked in a shipyard here, um, and the shipyard closed down. So he was laid off. Everyone was laid off. The shipyard is not even in existence anymore. And he went into finance, which is why I have a finance background, because of him. And one of the things they said to the guys was, your wives are probably work from home. If they're not, let them quit their jobs and tell them to work from home or like be like stay at home moms and give your wife a credit card. <laughs> and this was how they motivated the men to go work because they were like, let your wives go on shopping sprees, give them credit cards, let them quit their jobs. And now you have no other option than to bust your ass getting clients because these financial guys work on commission, getting clients so that you can now pay, replace your wife's income, or you can now pay the bill that she's like, you told her to go on a shopping spree, she did. Like, you have no other option. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go under? Are you gonna go bankrupt because you couldn't make it work? No, you're gonna fucking do your shit and make sure that you're making the money. Make sure you're impacting the people. Make sure you're serving the people that you need to be serving in order for, like I said, your dreams to become a reality. And so this burn the boat mentality, a lot of you guys need to have it. Whether you're hiring me, you're hiring someone else, you're just being really committed on what you're doing. You need to have this do or die. There's no turning back. There's no plan B. I have to make this happen and there's nothing that's gonna stop me. Okay. Wee. Was that fun for you guys? I did a lot of stories in that one, but there's just so many great burn the boats stories. Okay. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about what's stopping you from making money, your beliefs. Um, and I, we've got this whole great training. I actually learned it from my coach and I love it. And I do it with my clients. It's so good building the beliefs that everything that you want wants you back and how your beliefs impact you. Um, so you guys, I hope you enjoy this very, very much. If you are ready to burn the fucking boats 
and be really serious, really committed, and really consistent in your business to take it to that next level so you can make more money in June and July and August and moving forward. Do yourself a favor and book a strategy call with me right now, brittanybud.com forward slash strategy. They're free. We're going to talk about what it looks like to work with me. You're going to tell me all about your business. You're going to tell me all about your goals. I'm going to tell you how to make those goals become real life for you and what it looks like to have someone like me who's burned her boats. I burn boats all the time <laughs> in your corner, showing you how to make your business blow up. So I hope you guys have an amazing night. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't remember what time I said, but you know what? I think the time might change. I think like six Eastern tomorrow I'll be here. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yep, six, to, six Eastern tomorrow. I will be here talking about belief systems. All right, you guys, have an amazing night. I'll talk to you all later. Mwah.